Hi, I'm Joe Ugaritz, Director of Technology and Learning at Macaulay Honors College, and I'm here today with Professor Lee Quinby uh, to talk about her year-long honors thesis colloquium to be offered beginning in the fall 2008. Uh, Professor Quinby, welcome. It's good to talk to you here in the, in the lovely reading room at Macaulay. So tell us something generally about the uh, thesis colloquium. What, what, what will students get from taking this course? What students get from taking the Honors Thesis Colloquium is an, an intimate setting that allows them to pursue a topic of special interest to them. Um, I'm the director, so I'm the one who reads all the material for all the students and uh, uh, who encourages them when they're getting tired, and, uh, as, as one always does when uh, doing research. And uh, also, uh, it, um, I provide a lot of guidance in terms of how they can organize their thoughts. So the director is the, the guide and the cheerleader That's at right. the same time. <laughs> Sometimes we say taskmaster, but usually it's, it's more encouraging. So there's a lot of, of sharing of, of work. The, yes, uh, and a lot of sharing of work and a lot of uh, suggestions for revising, bringing your work back again uh, to each other. And, and I read uh, many, many drafts. Um, the students write, uh, they write drafts and short uh, pieces throughout the year uh, so that um, by the end of the second term, uh, and this will be spring 2009, mm. um, they will have a completed draft, probably 40 or 50 pages, maybe a little more than that, um, about their topic um, with extensive research and lots of revision, as I said, um, and something that they will be quite proud of, I think, in terms of the research they've done. What kinds of projects have people done? What, what kinds of topics do they tackle? Um, I, well, I've had a, a whole range of topics. Uh, students come from different fields. And so if they stay within their disciplinary field, I've, I've had students from history writing about um, decisions in terms of World War II. Mm -hmm. I've had pre-med students writing about uh, changes in medical ethics that have arisen because technology has made a difference in terms of its practice. Um, recently, I had a student uh, do a topic on the punk movement in American culture. And, um, she analyzed the music and the uh, do-it-yourself ethics. And she, she actually focused primarily on the ethics of punk culture. Ah. So I think it's, it's really exciting um, that students can bring uh, an interdisciplinary approach to this course, and it allows them to do um, a multimedia presentation. Sometimes they can uh, work through um, a project that, uh, that uh, uses film mm. or, or audio techniques. Uh, we, in, we have a classroom that's... Um, wonderfully equipped uh, with technology, and this allows us to This work. is here at Macaulay. This is here yeah. at Macaulay, and the, and the course will meet here at Macaulay. Um, and that allows us to uh, film students while they're practicing um, presenting and get feedback that way. Uh, they can also practice on uh, PowerPoint presentations. Um, the uh, multimedia format works both in the classroom and also for their research project. Ah, I see. Uh, if they have questions or need extra help, can they email you? Oh, I'd love for them to email me. Let me know what they're thinking about working on. Um, my email is uh, lee.quinby at mhc.cuny.edu. And I'd be happy to uh, discuss that with them either uh, on email or by telephone and how they might uh, go about it. Um, I particularly want to encourage students who are thinking of graduate school or professional school following Macaulay. Um, and if they're juniors, it's really ideal because this is something that they can send as a writing sample when they apply uh, after their senior, when, once they graduate, if they're applying during their senior year. The timing is, is um, wonderful if they're juniors while they're taking the honors thesis mm -hmm. colloquium. I think sometimes students get tied up in their major and all their coursework seems to direct it towards that. This gives them an opportunity to explore something related but maybe a little bit different. That's right, and, and a lot of times they find out that they uh, wish they had a second major. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they will have a second and they, major. And they may well um, take this topic on to graduate school. And that's what I have experienced, uh, where students find, either in their major or outside of it, something that uh, is, is really larger than they can do, um, even, in, even in a year-long course, uh, mm. something they want to do toward graduate work. Um, it happened to me that way, actually. Ah, I, really? I took an honors course and um, ended up uh, being fascinated by apocalyptic thought, which is the area that I write about, and I'm still mm -hmm. writing about it this many years later. That's wonderful. What have I forgotten to ask you? Is, is there something else you'd like to say about this course? Well, one thing I'd like to emphasize is that the students uh, complete their thesis in the second semester, and they also have an opportunity to go to the National Council for Undergraduate Research Conference, mm -hmm. which is a, a terrific conference that uh, has students from all over the country presenting their material. 
And we've had students go from Macaulay. Uh, it's, it's quite exciting. They, they uh, do a 10 minute presentation and then have a question and answer period. Um, afterward, there's lots of feedback. They meet students you know, from all over the country and um, it's quite uh, rewarding, I think, as a way of sharing their ideas. So it's not just the smaller audience of, of the colloquium, they can actually present to a national audience. Absolutely. Once they're accepted to the conference, Macaulay covers the expenses of the conference for their travel and their, their food and hotel expenses. Thank you for discussing this, uh, Professor Quimby, and uh, we look forward to seeing how the course comes out. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.